Hello guys, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, we'll be mainly covering about the TCS coding questions, right? Uh, so mainly there are, uh, there's going to be only one question that is going to be asked in the exam and uh, the time allotted for you is 30 minutes. But the question this year is going to be a little difficult than it was last year because of particularly two reasons. It's because TCS Ninja is also happening this time uh, along with the TCS uh, uh, Digital as well. So which is why, you know, for digital which has a higher package, they are going to give you a little uh, difficult coding question for Ninja and digital. It's going to be same though, the same coding question is going to come, but they want to analyze your coding ability in a deeper way, right? So the coding question is going to be a little difficult. The second thing here is they've also increased the time. So previously it was 20 minutes. Now uh, they've increased it to 30 minutes, All right? So this 10 minutes increase also means that yes, they are implying that yes, it's going to be a little difficult than it was last year. So, uh, <clears throat> which is why I really suggest uh, that you prepare for this section really well. The kind of questions that they can ask you are number series questions. So, for example, uh, you have 3, then you have 9, then you have 81, then you have, you know, 243 or in fact in between 27, right, so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, these kind of coding questions, not this easy, but it's going to be a little difficult. So, this was just for you to help you understand. Then pattern series program like uh, 2, then 4, then 8, and then 16, 32, 64. So, and then uh, 128, 256, and 512, and 1024. So, what is happening is every line there is one number, then two number, then three number, and then four number, and it's iterating on the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, 8, 9, so on, so forth. So this could be one question that they can ask. Questions on strings. So for example, uh, uh, you know, they can ask you to convert all the vowels or maybe to uh, all the vowels of a number to a particular hashtag. Let's say uh, my name is Atulia. So they will ask that all the vowels that are there are change it to hash so my the output would be a t hash l and then y and then hash again so these are the three hashes this 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 get changed to hash so for example this could be one question so i think uh, we have covered this question in the next in one of more videos the link to that you can find in the description below in this video we are going to take the number series question though right and then matrices question so uh, you know there could be a question wherein they are going to ask you which matrix that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 21, uh, 1 and 0. Which of the rows or the columns has the highest sum, right? Or the lowest sum or anything like this, right? <clears throat> so this could be one of the questions. So I would really recommend you to practice questions on strings, patterns, number series and matrices for the exams really well. And apart from that, all the first year questions that you had in your engineering. The languages that you can use in uh, TCS would be, uh, you know, C, C++, Java, Python, and Perl, right? Uh, we are going to use, uh, you know, uh, we are going to first explain you the algorithm for the question that we are going to take, and then we'll I'll also show you the codes of uh, the in each of the languages, right? So this is the first question that we have, right? Uh, consider the following series, and this is the series 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 8, 27. So first, you have to decode this series. This is a geometric progression. I'll tell you how this series is going in the next slide. So they'll give you a question like this and then also they'll ask you to print the nth term in this particular series, right? Uh, let's say if they give you the value as say, print out the 11th term in the series. So 11 terms I think happens to be 32. So you just have to print 32, not the whole series. Right. But then again, you have to build the logic for the whole series. So, right. So this is what I uh, am going to tell you. So, for example, in the previous question. So this is the this is the question that we are going to take for your help. Uh, I have put them in boxes and have named them. Right. So what is happening exactly here is this is the first position, second, third, so on, and so forth. And then this series can go on later. Uh, you know, till the end, right? So what is happening here, if you look at the odd positions only, that is this position, this, 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 and this. So what is happening here is, first number is 1, then the, for the second one, you are multiplying this by 2, so the answer happens to be 2. For the next one, you are again multiplying it by 2, so answer happens to be 4. 
for the next one you are again multiplying it by 2 so it's 8 and then 16 and then obviously 32 and then 64 128 so on so forth right so it's very basic right but on the even positions that is this 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 and this right so what you are doing here is you are multiplying it by 3 so first number is 1 then you are multiplying by 3 so answer is 3 then you are also again multiplying by 3 so answer is 9 then you are again multiplying by 3 so answer is 27 then 81 then 243 and then I think 729 and so on and so forth right so this is what the logic of the program is in terms of decoding the program right so let, let's begin with this program itself <clears throat> so what we are also going to use is we are going to use two variables uh, that is a and b a we are going to use to store or print out the values here at that is at the odd positions or the colors that i have also highlighted now i've used cream color for this position and then again b we are going to use for the blue color that is the even positions here right these positions Correct. So let, let's look at the algorithm first. I'll try to teach you how to apply the logic in the code and then I'll teach you the whole code itself or then I'll show you the whole code itself. Okay. Uh, so let, let's try to understand what happens, uh, uh, how we apply the logic and the algorithm of the code itself. Right. So what we are doing is initially uh, we are going to name a variable n and then we are going to take an input from the user that which number or which value do you want to uh, you know if let's say if you want to print out the 11th value here so enter the value uh, enter the value 11 and it will get stored in n right now this n we will also use in the for loop so there is a for loop and then inside there is an if else condition right so first let me explain the for loop for loop what happens is for i is equals to 1 so we start the loop from i and then iterate it till i is less than and equal to n that is it will go on till 11 if the value of n is 11 and then after every for loop uh, iteration gets completed we are going to do i plus plus right so this is how we are iterating upon this and then this and then this and then this so on so forth right but again there are different logics for here it is getting multiplied by 2 and for here it is getting multiplied by 3 right so we have to identify uh, the same as well that is for the odd positions we have to apply this particular logic and for the even positions we have to apply this particular logic so that is what we solve by conditional formatting that is if else condition so what is happening here is this is also here also we are using i right so initially when i value is equals to 1 what happens is if we evaluate this i percentage 2 right which happens to be that is one percentage or in fact let me write here one percentage two so there's a difference between percentage and divide percentage essentially gives you remainder so one when we divide one by two the remainder is one right so one is not equal to zero so which is true so which is why if this if condition happens to be true so this logic will be applied when i value becomes two right so in that case 2 percentage 2 is 0 and 0 is not equal to 0 which is why this if is failing right so false value comes here so which is why here it is iterating so which is why again for all the odd positions it is going inside this loop and for the all even positions it is going inside this loop automatically right so now what we do is let's say i value initially was 1 for us right so when we go inside this loop it checks if i equals to equals to 1 yes currently i equals to equals to 1 so a value is 1 so we are also defining a value initially we just declared a previously in the program that i'll show you when i show you the code but a value right now is 1 and then else condition obviously is not uh, coming so a value is equals to 1 eventually if had had been n value had been 1 so a is equals to 1 is the final value that we have so 1 would have had been printed here now then again if when i value is equals to 2 so what happens it comes to this loop now what they are saying is if i value is equals to 2 do b is equals to 1 right so what happens at the, this again this else loop is not implemented because this condition is satisfying so b value is equals to 1 so what happens is 1 and 1 so both these two values we are getting right so then again when i value is equals to 3 so what happens is it comes inside this loop right 
if i is equals to is equals to 1 now this is not getting implemented because 3 is not e is equals to is equals to 1 is not satisfied so it comes here initial a value before it we had a is equals to 1 before the previous loop so what it is doing a is equals to previous a previous a value was 1 for us 1 multiplied by 2 so finally a value is coming to be 2 and then 1 1 2 is getting printed here then again when i value is equals to 4 that is for this position so again the same thing happens this is not implemented because 4 is not equal to not equal to 2 then what happens previous b value was 2 here because the uh, sorry 1 here right because here it was 1 so we multiplied b is equals to 1 into 3 that is b is equals to 3 and then what happens is 1 1 then 2 and then 3 so this all is printed then again i'll just explain you a couple of more and then we are done when i value is 5 what happens is uh, previous i value or a value is 2 here so a is equals to 2 into 2 that is 4 that is a previous value stored was 2 for us right so again 4 is printed here again if we go to i value as 6 right so it comes here previous i previous b value was 3 that was stored here so again b is equals to 3 into 3 that is 9 and then it comes to be 9 then then so on so forth it comes as 8 then it comes as 27 then it comes as 16 and then it comes as 81 and so on so forth so this is building right so for example now i'll just show you the code in c the logic remains the same so c c plus plus are more or less the same uh, for the other codes of python perl and java i uh, we put a link in the description below so you can find all the codes there itself and i'll just explain you how this this particular code is working so initially obviously include studio int main we realize uh, we declared uh, uh, not initialize we only declared i n a and b we asked the user to enter which number he wants to print and stored it inside n right and then we asked him to run the for then the for loop that i was talking to you about and then this is the for loop this is the if condition if the user wants to go inside this if uh, inside this cream area that is or he goes to this else condition that is for the even terms here now the same logic is being applied if i is equals to is equals to 1 we initialize a is equals to 1 else we multiply it by 2 iteratively every time right finally the same thing happens if i is equals to is equals to 2 we initialize b as 1 and then iteratively if not then we multiply it by 3 again and again then again finally here we are doing same thing that if you want to print the let's say if you want to print the 11th position right so in that case 11 percentage 2 is equals to 1 right so which is why this uh, this will go inside this loop and it will print here right because it will print these values this a value right if it was 12 then uh, you know 12 divided by 2 is equals to 0 and 0 is not equal to 0 right so this is failing it goes to else and then it prints the, this value so here it is printing a value or and uh, just give me one second and here it is printing b values for this else condition so this is how the whole coding logic is working for this particular question uh, there are more type of questions that we have given uh, on the page in the description below so make sure that you visit all of those pages uh, right and if you have questions please feel free to ask us in the comment section i or my team will reply to you and the coding logics is already given in the video. If you want the code in C, C++, Java, Perl, Python, yeah, the link of that in, is in the description below. And there are two more videos that we've made for people. Those also can be found in the description as well. But we cover a lot many other coding questions and you know, uh, the whole syllabus of TCS in our online classes. And there's a 72 hours of online course that we take. So if you're interested in that, uh, please make sure that you join that 91% of the people uh, who get selected in TCS uh, or 91% of the people who join our online classes finally get selected in TCS. When, when you compare to people who are not joining these prep and start online classes, the number is 7%. So 7% of the people who apply to uh, TCS 
eventually get selected and we have 91 percent so there's a very vast difference between two numbers so obviously we are doing something right there so the link to the online classes can also be found in the description below we have 25 percent discount running right now and that discount link also is provided so if you click on that link that 25 percent discount already would be provided to you right uh, so make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends as well and if you have questions, you can always ask us in the comment section. Thank you.